Greetings, Dennis, Dennis Daniels here. Racket makes a lot of noise uh, mentally, partly because the install and the install instructions are not very clear uh, for the Unix users. Uh, I downloaded the sh file, and let me show you that. See if that works. No. Nope. Ls. Uh, ah, that's the one I want. There it is. So uh, I've downloaded it. Now, in order to install it, you need to run chmod plus x. That will give you permission to uh, do the next command, which is sh racket dot sh. And I'm going to type the full command, yes. And I am going with uh, number three. Oh. Um. Enter a letter to change an entry or enter to continue. I'm going to just take it all as it wants. Installation complete. Now, hopefully. Bracket. Uh, not there. Not there. So let's see. All right. So it says I should be able to run if it is in my path. See, I hate that. If it's in my path, I don't know if it's in the path, and it doesn't tell me if it's in the path. Dr. Racket is not appearing. If it is in your path, la la la. Otherwise, navigate to where it is installed. And the Dr. Racket executable will be in the bin subdirectory. All right, so CD. No, sorry. Um, ls cd clear ls uh, racket should be there, right? Because I just put it in the home directory. It doesn't appear to be there, though. All right, so let's. LS, LS, AL, CD Dennis, LS, AL. Okay, there's the racket directory. It's going to let me in. No. Okay, so. Yeah, racket installation, I would say, is deeply flawed. Um, certainly not an easy jump start go if you're running Linux. Thanks for watching, and happy computing.